Operation Hannibal was a German naval operation involving the evacuation of German troops and civilians from East Prussia by sea from January to May 1945. The flood of military personnel and German civilians eventually turned the operation in one of the largest evacuations by sea in military history. Over a period of 15 weeks, somewhere between 500 and 1000 merchant vessels of all types, including fishing boats and cruise ships and other German naval units, carried between 500,000 and 900,000 German civilians and 350,000 soldiers across the Baltic Sea to Germany and German-occupied Denmark. This was more than three times the number of people evacuated in the nine-day operation at Dunkirk. The Soviet East Prussian offensive cut off East Prussia from the rest of Germany between January and February 1945. German Grand Admiral Karl Dönitz ordered Admiral Oskar Kumetz as naval high commander of the Baltic Sea to plan and execute the evacuation operation. Donitz radioed a message to the begin the evacuations to ports outside of the Soviet area of operations. The operation was codenamed Hannibal. Donitz stated in his post-war memories that his aim had been to evacuate as many people as possible away from the Soviet forces. Operation started on the 23rd of January 1945. But there were a lot of casualties. On the 30th of January, Wilhelm Guslov, a large cruise ship, left the harbor in occupied Poland, bound for Kiel. With more than 10,000 civilians and military personnel aboard, she was torpedoed and sunk by a Soviet submarine off the Pomeranian coast, with possible as many as 9,500 fatalities. In early March, a task force composed of the heavy cruiser Admiral Scher, accompanied by three destroyers, were given cover to a German bridgehead near Wollim. During that operation, naval small crafts evacuated over 75,000 soldiers and civilians who had been isolated in that area. They were taken to larger warships and other transports lying offshore. While a number of these transports were sunk, large liners such as Deutschland got through and carried up to 11,000 soldiers and civilians. Initially, on his becoming Reich president on the 1st of May, Karl Dönitz was determined to continue the war, going so far as to instruct that combat troops would have priority in the evacuation to Germany. It wasn't until the afternoon of the 6th of May, with British troops practically on his doorstep, that he gave up on that plan. Shortages plagued the operation with food and medicine being seen as primary issues for the Nazi administration, causing a trend of elderly and very young children to die on board of the rescue ships. In addition to the Wilhelm Guslov, 158 other merchant vessels were lost during the 15 week course of Operation Hannibal. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and support my channel on PayPal. Details in the description box.